Alright, so we right here at the CES 2017 here, the Android Authority live live studio right here. We've been broadcasting a whole bunch of stuff, right? Tons of stuff, 150 CS meetings. CES is so awesome. Oh man, the, one of the best CES in a long time, don't you think? CES is, uh, every year is just growing 20%, it looks like. Yeah. And there's no way to cover everything, even with your <laughs> team, right? There's no 15 way. 15 people can't cover it all. Right. How many? 15. Wow. You need like 150 to cover it all, maybe. <laughs> no, actually, I think you need a thousand. Because then I, everyone have, would, could just have four <laughs> One meetings. for each, huh? yeah. And so to, to find cool stuff, I just come to your, your live studio, yeah, your booth, and gods, then I find yeah, something cool. So, so who are you? I'm a fan. I'm, uh, hi, my name is Jonathan Shipper. I'm uh, from Gemsense. Uh, we're, uh, yeah, it is doesn't it say it here. DSP Group or no? DSP Group is our cooperation. They have uh, ULE technology, which is long range, very low power, and it works on a different band than Wi Fi and Bluetooth. Does it so have to do no with interference. DSP chips or nothing? Yeah, I mean, DSP, DSP? Group. DSP is Group do the DSP, a lot of DSP chips do. Did you invent DSP or no? That's no, no, wait. TI, right? I'm not proud of DSP Group. Yeah. I'm showing with them. I have okay. a startup of my own, Gemsense. Look, this is the chair that we're showing in the DSP G suite. That's your chair? Yeah, it's, it's a chair by one of our customers. They're called Novi Style Group from Poland. They're, they make ergonomic chairs. They are masters of ergonometry and the office. And what they came to us to look to put sensors. So we integrated 14 sensors into the chair. You have 14 sensors. Using our platform, you have motion sensors, temperature, humidity, um, height sensor, you know, the angles, the, the turn, and you can also play games in VR with it for relaxation. So um, I, why would you put sensors in a chair? What do you sense? Uh, I can show you. Are? I can show you actually. Very easily. We want to see how you sit and help adjust so you'll really? be able to work more comfortably over time. So I'll just connect to the chair. I can choose which gem to connect to. So it's a Bluetooth chair? Yeah, hopefully the chair. Bluetooth and ULE. BLE and ULE. Hopefully it won't embarrass me now and connect easily. You got an external have battery? Have you seen a lot of other... You external battery for the chair. You have an external battery. No. Oh, yeah. You, you, I, I mine died. I don't know. No, mine died. So the chair is out of battery. Yeah, I guess I didn't. I can't wait no to have problem. more. No I can't wait to have more things to charge. No problem. That no, I great. tell you what, <laughs> there is a solution for it. Usually, it will last for a, it could last for half a year even. No, but and in the great. office uh, environment, I'll, I'll, look, we have a USB plug. Right now, this is the uh, the first model that they made. It's the first uh, smart office chair, and so I'll just power it up a bit because. No I guess Let's we ran there. out of battery. I'll check it in your next video. Super They'll cover you after. Gun snap so then, crazy. Oh, you told me. To <laughs> so then you have. <laughs> so what are we looking at here? What is this? So this is our development kit. Is it on? This is, the, this is the basic board. It has Bluetooth motion sensors and the processor, and it transmits all the data to the smart device. So using a development kit like this, we get easy access to more extensions and a power source, the battery. So this is, is a rechargeable TI, battery. Is it a TI Cortex M0? <laughs> right now it's a, yeah, it's a TI processor MCU. It's a different one, but it's still, uh, our next version is going to be much more powerful, of course. And right. right now you can do a lot of stuff with it. So we show guns in virtual reality. We show all kinds of smart toys. And this is a base for here. You got a screen, a dial, a uh, spindle. This was made in one of our hackathons and it could count spins. And, um, so it has motion so this is, is, is like accelerometer? Yeah, accelerometer, accelerometers, gyros, and magnometers. On this little board? Yeah, on right. this one. And you can easily extend it with more sensors or button lids. So in this case, this is a controller we made a long time ago. It's very similar to the Daydream controller. Daydream controller. Actually, more accurate. And I'd like for you to test it, guys. Nice. Cool. So there's going to be lots of uh, your solutions everywhere in the future? Is that yeah, the I tell you here, this is one of our customers. Like, I'll show you a quick example. You prototype real quick on this platform. One of our main advantages, we give you all the SDKs. Windows, Android, iOS, whatever. You start getting data right away. Connect, get data. It's three lines of code. You can see it on our website, dev.gemsense.cool. Or um, you can go to fb.cool. That's our Facebook. And anyway, so... Dot cool. Dot cool. And you prototype real quickly here, and then you use the same code and the same design to go to your final product. This was used in a ring by one of our customers, OTI. They made a ring that can use payments too. Where's the ring? Uh, actually, this was the basis for it. I don't have a complete one yet. They made a few models, and they launched it uh, last month in New York. Basically, it fits inside. It connects to another NFC model on one side and a notification LED. So you get notifications from the phone, and you get contactless payments. 
In addition to controlling apps and gestures, because we have the motion sensors on board. I mean, the thing is, they're, they're both important. All right, so it's been a good it's CES for you? Yeah, very good, actually. Oh, the chair's okay. getting a lot of... Uh, a lot is very popular, you know. Have you seen any other smart chairs? No, actually, it's the first office smart chair in the world. Uh, we heard about a uh, Boeing using a few sensors in their planes, but it's not the same. This is totally independent. It connects with long-range ULE technology, which is interference-free, and short-range BLE uh, for your phone, so you can and you can also play a game in VR with it. So I can show you. Really? Yeah, because we also the game. we already have sensors in the chair. So based on how you sit, you can control like Super Mario or something. Look at it, look. Actually, we're flying a plane now. Let's open the chair, the other. You see, you can easily see the chair. Wait, it's still in the game. Wait, I'll just go back. Okay, so basically, you can see the chair. And if I sit, I have pressure sensors in the chair and in the backrest. And I can see the angles right away. I can see the turn very easily. Oh I get the height of the chair. How does it know all this stuff? It's, we transfer all the data over Bluetooth. We have 14 sensors in the chair. You can see the readouts like this. And if you wanna uh, do something for relaxation, so we put in some cardboard game. That's cool. That you can actually fly with a chair. That's fun. Okay, and if I lean back, it goes faster. Wow, that's, oh. that's cool. Yeah, and this is relaxation in the, in the oh, smart cool. office, in the future office. Yeah, yeah. Usually you would strap yeah, it on with a cardboard, yeah, but I'm yeah, just cool. showing to you. Is there any chance you have uh, meetings already with the Japanese, like Nintendo? <laughs> Actually, Nintendo, no, we'd love to meet them. Uh, you know, people have called us the Wii of Things. Do you have any meetings with the, the Swedish, with the IKEA? Uh, no, we don't know him. We'd love to. Actually, we're doing this guy. That's why you guys had. We have a huge cool this is corporation. Charbax. You don't know Charbax? I will, I guess. Charbax is a big deal. Yeah, I'll connect you with IKEA. Like, he lives in like have things well, Switzerland and I, I Shenzhen, basically, right? Um, yeah, Switzerland and Shenzhen. Good. We and have representatives like in right? Shenzhen too. You've been going yeah. to China. Yeah. And this guy knows his stuff. Charbax knows his stuff. Uh -huh. That's cool. What do you do with the tennis racket? Actually, this will be one of our so next demos. Right? Just because it's very small, I could fit it in. I fit, you know, the board and the battery next to each other. And so uh, we can make a racket game out of it Smart and feel that. That's nothing. That's a Chinese toy off the shelf. Same as with this gun, okay? Now it's you can use gun, it right? for VR. That's real. Obviously, it's real. We took a gun off the shelf. <coughs> we put the sensors inside and we connect it to the trigger. We put a vibrator motor inside, LEDs, and, now you, and a speaker even. And you can play games with it in VR. We'll demo it soon on the broadcast here.